What's up guys, Eterno here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Elise. So let's start with this. And W first. So I'm currently playing with Dark Harvest after nerf, it's still good. If Riot decides to nerf this keystone once more, then you probably should be playing with Electrocute, but for now it's fine. So let's get to the skill explanation on passive in human form. When Elise abilities hits an enemy, she gains a dormant spider link, max 2. And each time you rank up your ultimate, you get one stack of your spider up to 5. And then in spider form, your basic attacks deal bonus magic damage and restore health, and it all scales with ability power. So you start in human form by pressing W and immediately switch to your spider form. And you can see I'm using my spider links to tank some damage for me. W active in spider form increases attack speed for both you and your spider links. Then switch to human form. This is Q. Q in both forms deals percentage damage based on missing health. So it makes her great against tanks and viable in each stage of the game. So let's focus on the big ones first. And as I use it like this, just W and clean. That way you can clear faster. Make sure you move in the jungle in spider form so you get a bit better movement speed. Now it's important to get this Cutler to get level 3 and secure vision for top laner so that that way he won't die. And in spider form make sure you use Q first. So that you can make full use of your W bonus attack speed. E is a uh, stun in human form. You can see the range is huge. And in spider form, this is Ripple, it works like this. You can gap close to something. Let's smile it. So I just wanted to show you an example. If you cannot use it on your enemies or jungle plants, then you will just remain in the air awkwardly. And it's worth noting that in spider form, these abilities cost no mana. So nice assassin, let's back already. Usually you want to build the red smite. It helps in dueling with enemy jungle. If you are facing many squishy opponents, then it's good to take stalker's blade for more burst. As for the stun in human form, with each rank the stun duration is longer, up to 2 seconds. So use stun on the jungle camp if you have enough mana and you know that you get blue buff anyway. Else I don't recommend using too much in human form without blue buff because it costs way too much mana. So pay attention, I'm using my spider links now, thanks some damage. Not gonna use smite there. Let's see the situation on bot lane. We want to max Q first, not breaking this, so that I'll be a bit unexpected there. Okay. Red smite at the end, wasn't necessary, but just keep in mind. Okay, so Vagar is returning. I'm ignoring this cutter, so I might get a kill or at least burn flash. He should be ready, I'm letting him get to her, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, should we try to get away on this direction? Sadly, I won't be able to finish her off. At least take some time to scale. 
So the most important stat on Elise is Magic Pen because Elise has nice base damage on her abilities. So all you need to do is just stack this Magic Pen. And thanks to the Q, you will be very useful in the late game. Also with Dark Harvest, Elise has nice late game. Later the W on Elise maxed feels so smooth, so it's really good. Let's go like this, so I can then stun on the big one. And now just keep using my spiralings that already. So as for ganking you need to calculate if you can just walk and use like E, Q, W, then switch to your human form. Else you just use your ripple on spider form dash and immediately switch to stun. It depends with each scenario. I'd be able to take that as well. Note that I'm healing from all the damage on basic attacks, so I'm fine. I'll just W as I said. Mm, I don't have enough health to gank now, so I just pack. Let's get boots. And of course the red trinket. Okay, so Grace is here. He got stunned. And Notice how I waited. Yeah, that was you might say that the flush flash was unnecessary, maybe. But I was expecting already the ultimate from Grace, so I just flashed in case. And you could see that Akali was coming, so if I took the damage from Grace, I would die here. So that flash wasn't that bad actually. So that place is probably worded. So we're trying to kill Graves here will be just a waste of time, I think. So let's go like this. Blue buff is spawning, so I'm coming for that soon. The W works on turrets, so later when you max W you can really take turrets in a short amount of time. Just it's worth noting that you won't get healed when basic attacking threat. So just to save some time I'm because see yeah, I'm leaving the camp on low health and just auto attacking. So the main reason why you want to switch by clearing to human form is to reset your passive to get spider links. They are really important. Also to deal some additional damage. Mm, it. Is it staying here? Let's see. Okay, okay. My allies won't be able to go up fast enough. And yeah, Trinket is gone, so I so wasn't quite able to take the Trinket. Keep in mind to use W in your spider form when taking wards to take it faster. He's expecting me there probably. Now in a good spot. 
she has W, so it's actually... Oh, nice. Remember that. Switching fast is important. Just immediately use ultimate. Maybe I counter jungle a bit. Kali has no flash, she won't be able to follow up. Yeah. Let's take this as well. Race is on other part of the map. So I don't have to use smite. Let's leave that so that the camp won't respawn. Okay, actually. I was a bit like I wasn't sure if Vega is going for one or another. Let's see, I won't be able to help him in time. Yeah. I kind of want to make sure that he won't get this rolled. Has no vision there. I'm just going there for experience. Wow. <laughs> at least he's good at taking objectives, so... Actually, I would like to take this herald. Let's see, are they? No, they're not doing that. Wait, it wasn't enough in range? Interesting. I would like help from Vega, so... I can actually take it myself, probably, with the spider links. But still, we need help there to secure that. I just switched to get my spy wings back. Let's use it immediately on top. I can't use my E, so I'm not switching. You could see, like, there's no point switching to human form in full wave of enemy minions. So it's okay like that. When taking the turret, remember to reset your spider links so that when you switch back and use W, you get bonus attack speed for everyone. So I use abilities on enemies and now I have my Pyro Links back. It was actually great use of the Herald. And thanks to Spider Links, I'm able to dodge like Blitzcrank Scrap for example or Trash Hook. Because they will end up just hooking my the links. Using E to safely get away. Oh. The ignite. I'll be fine. Nice. 
damn she's healing so well. Damn she survived so much. I have red buff so I'm healing. Let's go bot and make use of my spiming, just take this to it probably. Oh human form, switch back. I will see I have spider links, getting to the turret, pressing W and look quite nice. Nothing crazy but pretty good at taking turrets. And it's just mid game. Okay, he's coming. I have 4k gold, so it's time to back and get my core items, magic pen. Wait, that. You see, I have. Yeah, I had this remaining spider link so that that way I could avoid his grab. Even if he plays it right. Threat is gone anyway. I have 40 seconds to get back and secure Inferno, so it's fine. Let's get this and this. And the next item depends on your game, so... In this game it's probably better to go Zonia now, but usually I go this and this torment great. All the burning passive and makes your damage in the team fight much better. Thanks to the passive. And what is he doing? He messed up. Try to pray with them. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Question is, are they able to like take this inferno? I actually can't contest that. Maybe from this side now it's gone. Yeah, I couldn't. I had to give up. too much. Oh hello there. Let's use he like this. Uh, yeah, I knew that I get the shield from Karma, else I would just keep E in the air. So on his duration Nasus would take the damage from Red Smite. But I just trusted Karma. She has the TBR. Shield has low cooldown. So nice. They don't want that? Okay. Giving that for me, nice. Is it the right time for a Baron? Not yet. So I just take Gromp. Okay, he cannot see me, let's see if he goes this way, not. Ah, yeah, there he is. What can I do now? Maybe split push a bit? Or someone on bot lane and then back? I saw the animation there, okay, Graves. Okay, so force Graves to bot, that way they won't engage on mid, probably. I try to... Oh, that. Okay, actually now we can pressure them. 
like at least make a trap yeah I kind of want okay they have vision there never mind use W like this to avoid face checking okay so they have no vision let's try I will stop the baron if they come too close And just keeping with my spider links so I can dodge as we use Q. Yeah. We we'll try to back. And there was a vision. Not there. Okay, that's enough then. So let's just take the remaining camps and back. Okay, Zonia is helpful and this item. I need to secure the next track. My team can do that, no problem now, it seems. I don't have to switch. Spidlings are so strong late game. They flash that. Now just trying to pick someone like this. And yeah. That was the winning play. I have Zonia so I'm fine. I have E. Like you can engage with Zonia and then just Ripple. Or Zonia Ripple and Bug. Just saved karma. Oh, not really bad. Yeah, so late game just clear everything with spider form. some more no objectives at the moment we can push bot lane though uh, 
a good cough. No? Not good. Let's see. I think I can. Yeah. Baron is spawning soon. I'm gonna recall. Now it's important to get void stuff. To seal everything up. Make the base damage win better. I have nice dark harvest stacks. They are still busy on mid, so we can try doing another Baron, maybe without even taking a contest with enemy team. I'm gonna test it. Immediately start and that should be fine. Q helps so much on the Baron and all the spider links. Our trap is dead. So I'm gonna do like this. Stun. And now let's push top lane. Nobody was there. Close. We try. Mm. Let's get that. They underestimate my damage, it seems, so we cannot take Inhibitor. What is she doing? Uh, question is, are they able to take Elder now? Okay, they cannot do that. Raise bot, so actually let's start. No vision. I will jungle spot. I would land that. Under Abusey, my team won't die there, so I just pick with bot. Should be mid. Let's grab this already. I have nice damage already, and I don't have void stuff yet. So let's focus on objectives. Uh, busy. Nice. Maybe I'm surprised a little bit. Ah, that was my bad. I went too greedy. And as for the red buff start, you should be doing red, then golems like I did there, and just scuttler. It's the same route on other side of the map. Right now the farming is not so important, so I just stay with my team to catch someone up 
I staying in human form so that I'm pressured with the fact that I throw my cocoon and because of that even if I missed I didn't even have to cast anything just the fact Triple. Like I thought that my team will do something. Okay, so if we manage to take this Baron, this game is done. They don't have two inhibitors. They cannot contest. This should be done immediately. When it spawns, we immediately start Baron. Only way they can steal the Baron is as we use ultimate. Grace out, I don't think he will be able to reach. So, without anything. Maybe a bit too early. Yeah, it was better to just. Jeez, wow. Gonna heal on minions. So we can finish up. So thank you guys for watching. Hope that you learned something about Elise. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.